Why is the caravan unstable and swinging from side to side? Because the other cars are passing too close to it. Because there are traffic cones on the road. Because it's in the wrong lane. Because of side winds. The caravan starts to swing from side to side. What should the driver do to bring it back under control? Brake firmly until the swinging stops. Steer sharply in the opposite direction to the caravan's swing. Ease off the accelerator to slow down. Accelerate until the swinging stops. What's the speed limit for the car towing the caravan on this road? 60 miles per hour. 70 miles per hour. 50 miles per hour. 40 miles per hour. Why did the lorry driver start turning so late? Because the lorry needs the room to turn. Because the driver was late checking their right mirror. Because the driver was making room for the cyclist. Because the lorry set off too fast. When are you allowed to wait on the yellow grid markings? When you are going straight on. When you are turning left. When you are turning right. Never. What should you do when you're overtaking a motorcyclist on a windy day? Pass closely. Pass very slowly. Pass widely. Pass immediately. What should you do immediately after joining a motorway? Try to overtake. Readjust your mirrors. Position your vehicle in the center lane. Stay in the left-hand lane. What does this sign mean? Two-way traffic straight ahead. Two-way traffic crosses a one-way road. Two-way traffic over a bridge. Two-way traffic crosses a two-way road. You're driving on a busy main road. What should you do if you find that you're driving in the wrong direction? Turn into a side road on the right and reverse into the main road. Make a U-turn in the main road. Make a three-point turn in the main road. Turn around in a side road. What should you do when you're approaching this crossing? Prepare to slow down and stop. Stop and wave the pedestrians across. Speed up and pass by quickly. Continue unless the pedestrians step out. You wish to turn right ahead. Why should you take up the correct position in good time? To allow other drivers to pull out in front of you. To give a better view into the road that you're joining. To help other road users know what you intend to do. To allow drivers to pass you on the right. An injured person has been placed in the recovery position. They're unconscious but breathing normally. What else should be done? Press firmly between their shoulders. 
place their arms by their side. Give them a hot sweet drink. Check their airway remains open. You're going through a long tunnel. What will warn you of congestion or an incident ahead? Hazard warning lines. Other drivers flashing their lights. Variable message signs. Areas with hatch markings. How should you position yourself when you use the emergency telephone on a motorway? Stay close to the carriage way. Face the oncoming traffic. Keep your back to the traffic. Stand on the hard shoulder. What does this sign mean? Waiting restrictions apply. Waiting permitted. National speed limit applies. Clear way, no stopping. What must you do when the amber light is flashing at a pelican crossing? Stop and wait for the green light. Stop and wait for the red light. Give way to pedestrians waiting to cross. Give way to pedestrians already on the crossing. The road will go steeply downhill. The road will bend sharply to the left. The road will bend sharply to the right. When will your vehicle use more fuel? When its tires are underinflated. When its tires are of different makes. When its tires are overinflated. When its tires are new. What should you do when leaving your vehicle parked and unattended? Park near a busy junction. Park in a housing estate. Lock it and remove the key. Leave the left indicator on. You want to reverse into a side road. What should you do if you aren't sure that the area behind your car is clear? Look through the rear window only. Get out and check. Check the mirrors only. Carry on, assuming it's clear. What safety device must be fitted to a trailer braking system? Stabilizer. Jockey wheel. Corner steadies. Breakaway cable. A driver's behavior has upset you. How can you get over this incident safely? Stop and take a break. Shout abusive language. Gesture to them with your hand. Follow them, flashing your headlights. What do the long white lines along the center of the road mean? Bus lane. Hazard warning. Give way. Lane marking. What will happen if your car's wheels are unbalanced? The steering will pull to one side. The steering will vibrate. The brakes will fail. The tires will deflate. You're traveling on the motorway. How can you lower the risk of a collision when the vehicle behind is following too closely? 
increase your distance from the vehicle in front. Brake sharply. Switch on your hazard warning lights. Move onto the hard shoulder and stop. What does a red traffic light mean? You should stop unless turning left. Stop, if you're able to brake safely. You must stop and wait behind the stop line. Proceed with care. What should you do when there's an obstruction on your side of the road? Carry on, as you have priority. Give way to oncoming traffic. Wave oncoming vehicles through. Accelerate to get past first. What does this sign indicate? A diversion route. A picnic area. A pedestrian zone. A cycle route. What does this sign mean? Bus station on the right. Contraflow bus lane. With flow bus lane. Give way to buses. When would you use an emergency refuge area on a smart motorway? In cases of emergency or breakdown. If you think you'll be involved in a road rage incident, to stop and check where you are, to make a private phone call. How does drinking alcohol affect your driving behavior? It improves judgment skills. It increases confidence. It leads to faster reactions. It increases concentration. You're parked on the road at night. When must you use parking lights? When there are continuous white lines in the middle of the road. When the speed limit exceeds 30 miles per hour. When you're facing oncoming traffic. When you're near a bus stop. Some two-way roads are divided into three lanes. Why are they particularly dangerous? Traffic in both directions can use the middle lane to overtake. Traffic can travel faster in poor weather conditions. Traffic can overtake on the left. Traffic uses the middle lane for emergencies only. You're on a country road. What should you expect to see coming towards you on your side of the road? Motorcycles. Bicycles. Pedestrians. Horse riders. You're in a built-up area at night and the road is well lit. Why should you use dipped headlights? So that you can see further along the road. So that you can go at a much faster speed. So that you can switch to main beam quickly. So that you can be easily seen by others.
What's the national speed limit on a single carriageway road? 50 miles per hour. 60 miles per hour. 40 miles per hour. 70 miles per hour. What does this sign mean? New speed limit 20 miles per hour. No vehicles over 30 tons. Minimum speed limit 30 miles per hour. End of 20 miles per hour zone. You're driving in town. Why should you be careful if there's a bus at a bus stop on the other side of the road? The bus might have broken down. Pedestrians might come from behind the bus. The bus might move off suddenly. The bus might remain stationary. You're traveling on a road that is road humps. What should you do when the driver in front is traveling more slowly than you? Sound your horn. Overtake as soon as you can. Flash your headlights. Slow down and stay behind. What could you do to help injured people at an incident? Keep them warm and comfortable. Give them something to eat. Keep them on the move by walking them around. Give them a warm drink. You're driving on the motorway. What should you do if luggage falls from your vehicle? Stop at the next emergency telephone and report the incident. Stop on the motorway and switch on hazard warning lights while you pick it up. Walk back up the motorway to pick it up. Pull up on the hard shoulder and wave traffic down. How can you use your vehicle's engine as a brake? By changing to a lower gear. By selecting reverse gear. By changing to a higher gear. By selecting neutral gear. You're in a line of traffic. What action should you take if the driver behind is following very closely? Ignore the driver behind and continue to travel within the speed limit. Slow down, gradually increasing the gap between you and the vehicle in front. Signal left and wave the driver behind to come past. Move over to a position just left of the center line of the road. What's most likely to increase fuel consumption? Poor steering control. Accelerating around bends. Staying in high gears. Harsh braking and accelerating. You want to reverse into a side road. What should you do if you aren't sure that the area behind your car is clear? Look through the rear window only. Get out and check. Check the mirrors only. Carry on. Assuming it's clear. What should you do while you're driving or riding along a motorway? Look much further ahead than you would on other roads. Travel much faster than you would on other roads. Maintain a shorter separation distance than you would on other roads. Concentrate more than you would on other roads. What's most likely to increase fuel consumption? Poor steering control. Accelerating around bends. Staying in high gears. Harsh braking and accelerating. You want to reverse into a side road. What should you do if you aren't sure that the area behind your car is clear? Look through the rear window only. Get out and check. Check the mirrors only. Carry on. Assuming it's clear. What should you do while you're driving or riding along a motorway? Look much further ahead than you would on other roads. Travel much faster than you would on other roads. Maintain a shorter separation distance than you would on other roads. Concentrate more than you would on other roads. Why is it particularly important to check your vehicle before making a long motorway journey? You'll have to do more harsh braking on motorways. Motorway services areas don't deal with breakdowns. 
The road surface will wear down the tires faster. Continuous high speeds increase the risk of your vehicle breaking down. What should you do if there's a bus at a bus stop ahead of you? Flash your lights to warn the driver of your presence. Continue at the same speed but sound your horn as a warning. Watch carefully for the sudden appearance of pedestrians. Pass the bus as quickly as you possibly can. Your vehicle has broken down on a motorway. In which direction should you walk to find the nearest emergency telephone? With the traffic flow. Facing oncoming traffic. In the direction shown on the marker posts. In the direction of the nearest exit. A horse rider is in the left-hand lane approaching a roundabout. Where should you expect the rider to go? In any direction. To the right. To the left. Straight ahead. For how long is an MO certificate normally valid? Three years after the date it was issued. 10,000 miles. One year after the date it was issued. 30,000 miles. What's the national speed limit for a car or motorcycle on a motorway? 50 miles per hour. 60 miles per hour. 70 miles per hour. 80 miles per hour. Why is it important to make full use of the slip road as you join a motorway? Because there's space available to turn round if you need to. To allow you direct access to the overtaking lanes. To allow you to fit safely into the traffic flow in the left-hand lane. Because you can continue on the hard shoulder. Who's responsible for making sure that a vehicle isn't overloaded? The driver of the vehicle. The owner of the items being carried. The person who loaded the vehicle. The licensing authority. An adult casualty isn't breathing. To maintain circulation, CPR should be given. What's the correct depth to press down on their chest? 1 to 2 centimeters. 5 to 6 centimeters. 10 to 15 centimeters. 15 to 20 centimeters. What does this sign mean? Motorcycles only. No cars. Cars only. No motorcycles. What restrictions apply if you're towing a trailer on a three-lane motorway? You mustn't exceed 50 miles per hour. You mustn't overtake. You must have a stabilizer fitted. You mustn't use the right-hand lane. You're carrying an 11-year-old child on the front seat of your car. They're under 1.35 meters, 4 feet 5 inches, tall. What seat belt security must be in place? They must use an adult seat belt. They must be able to fasten their own seat belt. They must use a suitable child restraint. They must be able to see clearly out of the front window. How should you react to inexperienced drivers? Sound your horn to warn them of your presence. Be patient and prepare for them to react more slowly. Flash your headlights to indicate that it's safe for them to proceed. Overtake them as soon as possible. What does this sign mean? No cycling. Cycle route ahead. Cycle parking only. End of cycle route. You're traveling along a motorway. When are you allowed to overtake on the left? When you can see well ahead that the hard shoulder is clear. When the traffic in the right-hand lane is signaling right. When you warn drivers behind by signaling left. When in queues and traffic to your right is moving more slowly than you are.
You're parked in a busy high street. What's the safest way to turn your vehicle around so you can drive in the opposite direction? Turn around in a quiet side road. Drive into a side road and reverse out into the main road. Ask someone to stop the traffic. Carry out a U-turn. Why should you switch your headlights on when it first starts to get dark? To make your dials easier to see. So others can see you more easily. So that you blend in with other drivers. Because the street lights are lit. What does this sign mean? Maximum speed limit with traffic calming. Minimum speed limit with traffic calming. 20 cars only parking zone. Only 20 cars allowed at any one time. You intend to turn left at the traffic lights. What should you do just before turning? Check your right mirror. Move up closer to the car ahead. Move out to the right. Check for bicycles on your left. What should you do if you begin to feel drowsy while you're driving? Stop and rest as soon as possible. Turn the heater up to keep you warm and comfortable. Close the car windows to help you concentrate. Continue with your journey but drive more slowly. Other than direction indicators, how can you give signals to other road users? By using brake lights. By using side lights. By using fog lights. By using interior lights. What does this sign mean? Direction to park and ride car park. No parking for buses or coaches. Direction to bus and coach park. Parking area for cars and coaches. What's the most important reason for having a properly adjusted head restraint? To make you more comfortable. To help you avoid neck injury. To help you relax. To help you maintain your driving position. How should you position yourself when you use the emergency telephone on a motorway? Stay close to the carriage way. Face the oncoming traffic. Keep your back to the traffic. Stand on the hard shoulder. By using higher speed limits. By using advisory speed limits. By using minimum speed limits. By using variable speed limits. You're driving on the motorway in windy conditions. What should you do as you overtake a high-sided vehicle? Increase your speed. Be wary of a sudden gust. Drive alongside very closely. Expect normal conditions. What hazard should you be aware of when traveling along this street? Glare from the sun. Lack of road markings. Children running out between vehicles. Large goods vehicles. What will be a serious distraction while you're driving? Looking at road maps. Switching on your demister. Using your windscreen washers. Looking in your door mirror. What's the safest thing to do if you have to leave valuables in your car? Put them in a carrier bag. Park near a school entrance. Lock them out of sight. Park near a bus stop. You're driving in freezing conditions. What should you do as you approach a sharp bend? Coast into the bend. Apply your parking brake. Firmly use your foot brake. Slow down gently. At an incident, how could you help a small child who isn't breathing? 
find their parents and explain what's happening. Open their airway and begin CPR. Put them in the recovery position and slap their back. Talk to them confidently until an ambulance arrives. You're driving on a motorway at night. Which lights should you have on if there are other vehicles just ahead of you? Front fog lights. Main beam headlights. Side lights only. Dipped headlights. When should you use the right hand lane of a three lane dual carriage way? When you're overtaking only. When you're overtaking or turning right. When you're using cruise control. When you're turning right only. A police car is following you. What should you do if the police officer flashes the headlights and points to the left? Turn left at the next junction. Pull up on the left. Stop immediately. Move over to the left. Your vehicle breaks down on a motorway and you need to call for help. Why might it be better to use an emergency roadside telephone rather than a mobile phone? It connects you to a local garage. Using a mobile phone will distract other drivers. It allows easy location by the emergency services. Mobile phones don't work on motorways. What color are the reflective studs between the hard shoulder and the left hand lane of a motorway? Green. Red. White. Amber. How can you make sure that a satellite navigation, sat nav, system doesn't distract you when you're driving? Turn it off while you're driving in built up areas. Choose a voice that you find calming. Only set the destination when you're lost. Set it before starting your journey. Why are vehicle mirrors often slightly curved, convex? They give a wider field of vision. They totally cover blind spots. They make it easier to judge the speed of the traffic behind. They make the traffic behind look bigger. When must your vehicle have valid insurance cover? Before you can make a sawn. Before you can sell the vehicle. Before you can scrap the vehicle. Before you can tax the vehicle.